Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Doom Eminent, but you can just call me Jeff. Coming to you guys with a 34 gun streak by Doom Ferocity using the 44 Magnum in Hardcore Domination. Uh, this gameplay is on the map Octane, and uh, it's pretty awesome gameplay. The amount of accuracy that these guys have when they play this game is insane. Like, you'll see throughout this gameplay, his accuracy is crazy, right on point with almost every single shot. It's just crazy, so this gameplay is pretty awesome, and it is by Doom Ferocity, as I said. So if you enjoyed the gameplay and you want to see more of this guy, definitely go on and head over to his channel. His link will be in the description. He's got some awesome commentaries and gameplays and things like that on his channel, so definitely check out his channel as well as mine. They'll both be in the description. So today, what we're going to be talking about is some common gaming misconceptions. Basically, things that people say about gamers that are not necessarily true and things that usually piss off gamers, and I'm going to be covering all the most popular ones. If you guys have any that you think of that I don't mention in this video, be sure to leave them down in the comments below, and uh, yeah, we'll see what you guys have to say. So, one of the first things that I think people say about gaming that isn't necessarily true is if you're good, that just means you play a lot. This thing really pisses me off, or this one really pisses me off, because like, for example, the guy in this gameplay, he's obviously really good at Call of Duty, and that's not just because he plays all the time, that's because he practices, that's because he probably learns the routes of people, That's it, it, it's a lot of factors that play into being good at a video game, not just Call of Duty, any video game for that matter, and it's like when people say you're only good because you play a lot, it's not really true, you have to be pretty smart, you have to be like, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff you have to be able to do to be able to be good at a video game, not just play a lot, obviously playing a lot will help you get better, but it's not just that, you have to be smart, you have to be as I said, anything, it's its really, it, anything really helps into becoming a better video gamer, if that's what you want to call it, and uh, it's not just playing a lot. Alright, the next thing that people say that is really untrue in my opinion is that gaming makes you stupid. There's actually been studies that have proven that gaming can make you smart and bring out your creative side more, and also it can do things, little things like increase your reaction time, do stuff like that, like a game like Call of Duty can really help practice your reaction time, as well as bring out your creative side for a game maybe like Minecraft or something like that, that can make you access that creative part of your mind or your brain, and really be able to put it into the world, real world, or in real world in video games I guess, and uh, just really practice it and then use it in the real world and it's just when people say gaming makes you stupid it really doesn't make sense they really have nothing to back that up and it's just definitely one of the common misconceptions that people think all right the next one that i really disagree with is that gaming causes violence i have my own take on this and i'm gonna let you guys know what it is so Basically, I think that people that are naturally violent will like violent video games just because they're naturally a violent person, an aggressive person. I don't think that gaming creates a violent person. I think that everyone can handle violence, and if you're not a naturally violent person, you'll be able to manage that. Like, a violent person is always going to be a violent person, you know? That's just how you naturally are if you're like that. And gaming is going to be fun for you because there's violence in it, but I in no way or shape or form believe that gaming makes a person violent. I don't think that at all. I think someone's naturally born violent, and that's just a trait or a gene you can have from when you're born, and uh, I definitely don't agree with that one at all. Now, one of the most common ones is that gamers are unathletic or out of shape. I cannot tell you guys how many people I've met that are very athletic people that are gamers. For example, I'm, I'm friends with one of the kids on the varsity high school football team at my school, and he's a huge gamer. He likes to game all the time, but he actually is on the varsity football team, and he actually plays wide receiver, so he's a very athletic kid, but he also does play video games all the time with me and my friends, and he's a huge gamer, and he's also a varsity football player, and that's just one example of kids that can be athletic and game at the same time. Obviously, there are going to be some unathletic or out-of-shape kids that do game, but that's that's just like anything else in the world. Any other hobby in the world has kids like that or people like that. And it's not just gamers. I mean, obviously, there are going to be unathletic kids in gaming, but that's not just, that doesn't mean that they're all like that. There's definitely some people that are in shape and stuff like that for gaming. And then lastly, probably the biggest one is that gamers are have no friends and are antisocial. This one is like really gets on my nerves because it's like, I can't tell you how many people I've met in gaming that are so social. Like I haven't I've met countless people on Xbox that I meet from through a lobby that are other gamers that I can relate to. And being social is just talking to someone, you know? And when I'm in a lobby with people, everyone talks in the lobby. And those are all gamers usually in the lobby. Like in a Call of Duty lobby, when everyone meets friends and stuff like that, that's being social and those are usually gamers that are being social. So it's just it's definitely a misconception about gamers and also that they have no friends like I can't tell you how many gamers I know that have a lot of friends and also gamers that just like I talk to on Xbox and stuff like that. It's just there's so much socializing that goes into gaming and stuff like that. And it's really unfair to say that gamers have no friends. It's just all these are pretty much unfair. It's just common stuff that just because it happens to some gamers 
people say that it's automatically like that for all gamers and i don't know it's always going to be like that where gaming is put down in certain ways and us gamers know that none of it is usually true and us gamers know that gaming is awesome and uh, it just really annoys me when people say all these common things but yeah those are pretty much like the top five or six things that people say about gamers that are not necessarily true as i said if you guys have anything that you want to add to this commentary or any things that you want to add to my list then be sure to put it down in the comments below but anyways that's pretty much all i got for you guys i hope you enjoyed the gameplay if you did be sure to head over to doom ferocity's channel as well as mine they'll both be in the description and that's pretty much all i got i will see you guys later and peace